I'm fed up to hear to my eyeballs with the British with England I mean they are able to get themselves onto our news I mean do that many Americans really give a fucking shit about the uh, royal pain in the ass family and and well you know I can understand the idiots out there who just can't seem to get over you know money I mean that's why they're attracted to TV shows and news about the royal family right because they like they like I don't know how they like the money that they have and they like rich people I guess because they want to be rich I don't know but then all this other stuff I mean yeah I can understand looking at uh, uh, Britain because of all the bad things I mean they were the last great well they weren't great they they called themselves great Great Britain but they were the last ones to run around the world just savagely screwing everybody, right? Um, but I don't care about, you know, they want to be part of Europe, sort of, maybe not. I mean, you know that none of them are really, you know, this thing called the European Union. You know that there is no union, right? I mean, Germany could flip over and start attacking, you know, Poland and Czechoslovakia and just take the whole, all, any one of them, France, uh, Britain, they have all have a history of, of imperialism, of trying to knock each other off and shit. There's nothing new there, uh, but they control our media. I mean, we think that we control the world, that we run the world, just because we have a big army and we go around screwing everybody. But doesn't it uh, strike you as strange that we're doing exactly everything that Britain, Germany, France, that they want us to do? So we're their proxy army. We're their proxy power uh reaching around the world you don't see us ever like bombing somebody in Britain do you no and I can tell you for sure uh, a few things first of all the British supported the South in the Civil War uh, well first of all before that they were the assholes who tried to take this country away from us you know we were here we came we didn't come as British citizens the people who came on the Mayflower and all that were running away from Europe and running away from the monarchies and and dead and everything else so that's bullshit right there we were independent immediately upon the creation of this uh, when we took it all away from the Indians we weren't running around with flags planting them in the ground saying we're part of Britain no what they did was they came behind us and made sure that we supported them and that we backed them and that we made it look like it was all about colonialism I mean we came here and then their monarchs started to figure out that you know there's a big country over there uh, lots of money to be made and then they came over and took it away from us before before we took it back from them because that's what we did we took it back from them okay I mean understand that and and they've always been our enemies and they've always come back covertly even if they've allowed us to keep our uh, illusion of freedom, okay? Um, uh, I'm not quite sure how they did it after the revolution, but I'm sure of an expert 
could tell you. Uh, they were, like I say, supporting the Confederates. And after we won, they assassinated Lincoln. And within two weeks, they had a 32nd level Mason supported by British in Canada running our country. Okay, I mean, it, it didn't skip a beat. Yeah, and I think it's sad that they're able to outsmart us at every turn. You know, in that sense, we deserve to be just servants of the British. But we shouldn't uh, just roll over and let them take over. I mean, what's plain is that we are uh, run by the British because you look at our... Uh, our media. I mean, I don't watch television, but when I walk past other people watching TV, I see what they're watching. I mean, you can't help it, right? And all these people fucking sitting there watching. I don't even know who these people are, but apparently the royal family has about a million people that are supposedly in line for the throne and every single one of them is having a baby every day or getting married or something and I can't watch walk past my fucking TV without saying and you know I used to see this when it comes to people like Trump I, I couldn't you know you can't get away with it I, I lock myself in my room with my computer to avoid it I mean here it is right here even in my own room where I do my best to stay away from it shit like this pops up Brexit we don't give a fuck about your Brexit you want to be part of the and you know what it, the fact that you guys can't just end this shows that you don't want to end it you think that Americans actually give a shit maybe Canadians Australians they're all English anyway in their own way they still have the monarchy on their dollar bills I think that's pretty straightforward and they they don't want to end it you know it's just like bad weather journalists uh, people on TV love it you know oh god uh, people are going to be glued to this their station to watch you know coverage wars too you know fucking TV people love it and I know why because I've been a sucker for too like during uh, the first Gulf War <laughs> sat there glued to my TV and then the Iraq War uh, you know I mean you do you get glued to it you get 9-11 uh, you know Everybody spent about three days watching TV. They even shut down all the airports, so you didn't really have anything to do. But uh, you know, I mean, for people who travel, so y'all out there, get over it. Get over your love of uh, Britain. You know, I'm from there too, a uh, million years ago. Uh, Scottish, English, Irish, got it all got some German probably have some French in there since we our family traveled around with the French for a while before they came to the United States on my father's side so uh, but you know we really need to you know part of the reason this country is fucked up is because of a system where wealth generates upward and I guarantee you the American rich are not the top of the food chain it's the European rich it's those old families you know they have their wealth they have everything going for them all the schools all the vacations all the yachts everything sure Americans a few Americans may get up to that level but a bunch of Europeans have been there for centuries and they continue to be so don't watch this shit you know don't care about whether British Britain is part of European Union or anything 
which is all a joke anyway, right? I'm telling you, there's nothing to the European Union. The European countries still, they don't trust anybody. They don't trust the other members of Europe. All that the European is is just like a trade uh, uh, and borders and stuff like that, you know. It's just the same thing that every other country in the world has. Every country in the world has their uh, rules and regulations and system for dealing with the other countries, but France is still France. Uh, Belgium is still Belgium. You know, uh, Belgium or France doesn't allow like 150,000 Italian troops just to kind of come into their country all of a sudden. Or Russian troops, you know. Well, Russia, I don't think, is part of the European Union. Which makes a whole lot of sense, right? I mean, that's so stupid that they would be in the <laughs> in Europe and yet not part of the European Union, at least as far as I know. I mean, I lived in Brussels. I never saw any Russians, but man, the uh, Germans just piled in there. And, you know, and they all use the European Union for their own benefit. And if it doesn't benefit them, then they just get rid of that part of it. So Germany was told that as part of the European Union and had to accept so many uh, immigrants and uh, asylum seekers. Well, when it got to be too much, Germany just said, hey, <laughs> we're not going to keep that part of the deal. So, I mean, the European Union is a joke anyway. It's just a bunch of those, uh, all the European countries all trying to use it for their own benefit. So Greece is, you know, Greece, the, you hear a lot about Greece and how austerity and all this stuff because of all the money they owe. Yeah, but they got to borrow a whole bunch of money. Now, after the fact, they're going just like Americans do about the, the banking system here. You know, it's, oh, it's great to borrow a whole bunch of money. Uh, you know, but if you're going to borrow a whole bunch of money, don't pay it back. <laughs> problem is you want to borrow more and the people who come along after the people who rip off the money they get stuck in a in a spiral going down a debt spiral anyway don't give a shit about the United Kingdom kingdom I thought that was Saudi Arabia the British the English don't give a shit about them. This is all designed just to get attention. They're just like any opulent, childish, you know, self-centered people. Um, look at the picture. Look at those people. That's all they are. That's They're just trying to get attention. So don't give it to them. I mean, they're not worth it. So don't don't give it to them. Don't give them any attention. Uh, if you see something about the British, just turn around and walk away. As, as far as that goes, any other country where there's nothing happening, but they are in your face. Anytime that so somebody's in your face, and when you look at it for a little while and analyze it and say to yourself, Hey, wait a minute. Why would I give a shit if somebody's having a baby? <laughs> you know, why should I give a shit whether some people in Britain do or do not want to have a relationship with the rest of Europe? Don't don't fall for it. You know, news is news. A wedding or something like that of some, you know, there's a million weddings a day. A million people die every day. You know, all these things happen over and over don't fall for it it's just other people and I mean this generally American media is awful about this they all want to say look at me look at me I, I'm more important than you uh, I want you to watch me and pay attention to me I want you to know who I am well, what about all the millions of people who we don't know who they are 
so we're supposed to pay attention to you fuck you why you there's no reason why uh, just because you uh, somehow managed to uh, what do you call it uh, where you well you're a hog just because you're able to kind of covet a lot of money away from everybody else so they can't use it or whatever we're supposed to all of a sudden pay attention to you nah it ain't happening learn to ignore these people concentrate on things like progressive issues like education and uh, health care is a right and for all and all these kind of things none of the progressive issues one thing you'll notice about progressive issues is they don't identify somebody I mean okay Bernie Sanders or somebody like that but that's because they're the ones that we're pushing in order to get a, a world and a system where we ignore all these assholes right where we concentrate on the things that matter real news yeah this is fake news that's what it is this is fake news news about Britain it's fake news it's just uh, some people in Britain Sky News the you know R Rupert Murdoch's those kind of people it's just them trying to focus on themselves because they want everybody to look at them don't look at them 